Play City fam, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you at my second home, the grocery store. We're gonna do a very cool video about the best foods to eat to reverse aging and make your skin look youthful and glow and the foods to avoid because a lot of the foods in the grocery store are actually loaded with ingredients that have free radicals that attack your cells and make you age quicker. But if you know how to avoid those and swap them out with the better alternatives, you can look better and feel better and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk through the grocery store and tell you what to buy what to avoid for anti-aging and making your skin glow like the south florida sun right now uh, before we go do that you know the drill like subscribe share my friends that's the only way the channel keeps growing but i also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below thrive has been loving the channel now for six years and the cool thing about it is everything you can get pretty much at any grocery store is cheaper on Thrive Market. You save about $32 per order and that box comes to your door. You don't even have to leave the house. They also have this cool thing of a price scanner on their app. Go to the store, flip it open. You can scan any barcode and it tells you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market, which it usually is. And right now, Flav City fans are getting the hookup of all hookups. When you click my link down below in the description box, you get 25% off your first order, a free gift up to $31. One of those gifts is a bottle of Primal Kitchen avocado oil and ranch, and it's 30 days risk-free. So if you don't love it, you could always cancel and get your membership feedback, but I think you're gonna love it. So check it out. Okay, less talking, more shopping. Let's Benjamin button it up here in the grocery store. Public enemy number one to skin and aging and many other things are the processed plant oils that we grew up on. You have to avoid any kind of canola oil, any kind of safflower or sunflower oil, any kind of peanut oils or vegetable oils or soybean oils. I have whole videos about them. Not only are they inflammatory and really bad for you, they're also processed at such high heat that they are loaded with free radicals. Free radicals attack the cells in your body and actually make you age and make you have higher inflammation and make you sick. Because they're so processed, they're loaded with the free radicals. But when you eat something like extra virgin olive oil, they're loaded with polyphenol antioxidants, which repair cells in your body. So it's vitally important never ever to cook with these. You only wanna be cooking with extra virgin olive oil. If you wanna know what brands, search the video, you're buying fake olive oil because 85% of the store-bought extra virgin olive oils are fake. You could also eat virgin coconut oil. Or one of my favorites is actually Ghee. This is a great company called Fourth and Heart. It's much cheaper on Thrive Market, just so you know. But ghee coming from grass-fed sources is a healthy saturated fat. It's not unhealthy and 60% of your brain is fat. It needs the healthy saturated fats and so does the myelin sheath covering your nerves. You have to avoid the processed oils. They're so darn bad for your body because of the free radicals. If you want a great deal on ghee, some Costco's have grass-fed ghee. If you don't have it at yours, like I don't have it, go on Thrive Market. You see me use it all the time. The Thrive Market organic grass-fed pasture-raised ghee is amazing. It's a great deal. When you click my link down below, you also get 25% off your first order. You get the free gift and it's 30 days risk-free. Bottom line, avoid those processed seed oils. They are devastating for your skin and your overall health. When it comes to collagen peptides, I've been drinking the Kool-Aid for a really long time and unflavored, grass-fed collagen peptide is my collagen of choice. Why? Because as you get older, I'm 43, you lose the natural collagen in your body and you need foods that have collagen and supplements that have collagen. Why? Because collagen has a protein that is responsible for the elasticity and the strength of, of your skin. As you get older, your skin starts to sag. That's why you want collagen, but it goes beyond anti-aging and skin. It also helps with joint, hair, uh, skin, nails, gut health. I know people who take this stuff and have joint pain, then it goes away a couple weeks later. One to two scoops a day. Put unflavored in your coffee or your green tea in the morning. I do green tea. And then I put one flavored one in my um, protein smoothie in the afternoon. The thing is, there's two kinds of collagen. There's ones that come from food, which we'll talk about in a second, like acerola and bone broth, and ones that come from supplements like this. The food ones are very important to eat too because those are more bioavailable, meaning your body can uh, take advantage of them more, but you still want the supplement of this. The best deal by far is at Costco. Costco has this exact one from Vital Proteins for half the price of any grocery store, but if you can't get to go to Costco, 
Go to thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. The Thrive brand grass-fed unflavored collagen peptides is pretty much the same exact price as uh, Costco. And you use my promo code for 25% off your first order when your free gift and your free gift, it's cheaper. So try collagen, it's a must. But in addition to that, you want the collagen rich foods. As they say in the last tango in Halifax, fancy a kettle? I fancy a kettle every morning. I'm a creature of habit. And every morning during the week, I have organic loose leaf jasmine green tea. I love jasmine, it has this floral uh, flavor, but the reason why it's so darn good for anti-aging and for skin is because it's loaded with an antioxidant called polyphenols and it protects the collagen in your body. Collagen is primarily uh, good for your skin and the elasticity of your skin. The thing is, yes, green tea is good, but it's very important to buy the right green tea. So if you're drinking any tea, Organic is a must, okay? A lot of tea comes from Southeast Asia and they'll use chemicals and pesticides that are banned in the US, but they do it over there. And when you brew tea leaves, those chemicals literally go straight into the cup. So organic is a must. And if you want superior flavor and superior quality, you wanna get loose leaf. Now this is kind of loose leaf, but it's still in a bag. I much prefer you guys get a bag of loose leaf tea and then pour it into a cup and pour the hot water in there let it steep for three minutes for green tea and then strain it. You want the lo uh, loose leaf tea to be able to swim around and you want it to be organic. Uh, Thrive Market only has one Darjeeling. I get this one on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It's really, really darn good and it's loaded with those uh, polyphenols that are fantastic for your collagen in your body. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, you need to have bone broth in your diet, ideally on a daily basis. Why? Because bone broth, and this is my favorite one, Cattle and Fire 100% grass-fed beef bone broth is loaded with collagen, loaded with gelatin, and something called chondroitin, which is really good for your gut and your microbiome, right? Very soothing to your gut. You can use it in recipes if you want. I use this a ton in my five-ingredient best-selling cookbook, thanks to you guys, or, don't even worry about a recipe. Pour a warm cup first thing in the morning. It's a great gut reset. Pinch in some salt in there, unrefined salt, and you're good to go. I prefer beef, grass-fed beef, over any other kind of bone broth. This is a must. Rose has this on the regular, really good for toddlers. And the difference between that and something like broth or stock is this is made with meat and bones, whereas Bone broth is only made with collagen and gelatin rich uh, bones like uh, knuckles, femurs, necks, and stuff like that. Go for this. It's a must for anti-aging and just so darn good for overall health. There are so many darn options of vitamin C at the grocery store and vitamin C is a must because it's responsible for the production of collagen. And I take a vitamin C every single day with a D and a zinc. But you have to be very careful. I talk about this a lot. Look at your vitamin C in your pantry and most of them are like this. If your vitamin C comes from, boom goes the dynamite, ascorbic acid, that is not good. Now, this also has acerola cherries and rose hips, which is good, but ascorbic acid usually is the primary ingredient in most uh, vitamin Cs. You don't want that. Vitamin C from ascorbic acid is not bioavailable. Your body can't do much with it. You want 100% acerola or i keep talking about this but tr uh, health force truly natural uh, vitamin c powder is acerola kamu kamu and amla that is the best around they don't have it here they have it on amazon but on thrive market it's way cheaper than uh, than amazon so use my link down below try that one along with the vitamin uh, d and the zinc that i use i'll put those down below those are really important but in addition to that eat foods that are rich in vitamin C, like peppers are very high in vitamin C, and obviously citrus, and then supplement it with a bioavailable vitamin C. That's the best you can do for your skin. You're definitely gonna wanna check out the fish counter here because certain fatty fishes have omega-3 fatty acids, which are really good for your skin. And one in particular is salmon. Salmon has a special antioxidant that's really good for repairing your skin and protecting your skin from sun damage. Now, there's obviously wild salmon here, and there's farm-raised salmon here. I've talked about this in the past. You gotta really be careful where your uh, farm-raised salmon is. It's just better to go for wild. Wild has that natural pink in there from that uh, special antioxidant I was talking about, whereas farm, for the most part, gets that color from the feed. They usually put beta, car uh, beta carotene in the feed. But if you're gonna buy farm-raised, Whole Foods is a pretty decent place to get it. It does actually have more fat 
that a lot of farm raised from around the world is really, really poor quality. So for the most part, I try to eat wild salmon and the antioxidants and the omega-3s there are so good for reversing aging. I always get a good laugh when people try to avoid eggs because they're high in saturated fat and high in cholesterol. That is not the case. Eggs are not only good for anti-aging, good for skin, they're good for many reasons. When you eat eggs with white toast and sugary jelly and OJ, that's when you have to start worrying about cholesterol and other issues. But I digress. Eggs are super, super important for anti-aging. They have so many good uh, benefits. I had to write them down here really quickly. Uh, it's because the egg whites have a lot of proline. Proline is the uh, primary agent responsible for collagen production. Also, lutein in the eggs provides hydration and elasticity for the skin, kind of similar to collagen. And last but not least, the yolks are loaded with fatty acids that are very good at protecting your skin from sun damage and they help with repair. So do not uh, be afraid of eggs. Now that being said, I would always gravitate towards pasture raised eggs. My favorite is this 18 pack of Vital Farms Organic. And remember, if you Google search Vital Farms plus coupon, there's a $1 manufacturer coupon you could print off, which brings that price down to $8.99 for 18 organic pasture raised eggs. That's winning my friends. All right, Brad and I are staying hydrated. Our drinks of choice today. Brad loves Mountain Valley spring water out of Arkansas in glass bottles. Brad is like wow. a water sommelier. He only <laughs> drinks the best. And I love this mushroom infused root beer tonic from GT. This stuff is amazing. I digress though. Anti-aging for flax seeds, why? Because flax seeds are loaded with ALA omega-3 fatty acids. Well, they also have protein and fiber, which is fantastic. But ALA omega-3s are really good for your skin. And studies show that when you eat foods like this that are high in that, it helps with skin elasticity and hydration. That makes you look younger instead of foods that actually make you look older. Now, how do you eat these, right? Well, you can toss them into a smoothie and blend them up. You can put them on top of your uh, oatmeal if you do that. Or if you want an easier way, a more snackified way to eat it, you would get these. These are so underrated. They're a little hard to find, but flackers were actually created by a doctor. The ingredients are cray cray crazy. They're organic flax seeds, vinegar, and then this, this one's rosemary and sage. They have original. They don't have my favorite, which is like cinnamon currant or cinnamon raisin, but these have so much darn fiber and omega-3 fatty acids from the flax seeds, and there's literally one net carb per serving. It's the ultimate gluten-free, keto, diabetic-friendly, anti-aging, skin-friendly snack. Fantastic. It's a little pricey. It's $5.99 but I just flipped open the Thrive Market app. It's $4.79 on Thrive Market. Try this, you will love it. Also, you get 25% off your first order and a free gift when you use my Thrive link down below. Flackers and um, flax seeds for the win, y'all. All right, family, that is it. Those are the top 10 foods for anti-aging, otherwise known as the Benjamin Button effect because they're foods that are loaded with collagen and gelatin, omega-3 fatty acids, polyphenols, antioxidants, all the things you need, not just to look good, but to feel good too, and why you wanna avoid other foods that destroy the cells in your body. So if you have any other video ideas, let Brad and I know. We have a really cool list of stuff we're working on, but we love your ideas too. Uh, check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. They are the bee's knees. Get your 25% off your first order, your free gift, and it's 30 days risk-free. Uh, but like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. But for Bradley P, myself, Baba Donnie, uh, Desi, and who else? Rose, and all the gang. <laughs> we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.